Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to day 12 of my 31 Days of Horror. Today we're going back to 1963. Uh, this is put out by the Warner Brother Archive Collection. It's supposedly remastered because it was originally in black and white, but they remastered it in color. And the film we're talking about is called The Black Zoo, again from 1963. Uh, this stars Michael Gouch, who plays Alfred in the older Batman movies from the 1990s on up. He reprises the, the Alfred character. So he's a little bit younger in this one. He also is with the producer uh, Herman Cohen. Those two have worked together in two previous films. Uh, the, the, I think it was the History of the Black Museum, or no, the Horror of the, Horrors of the Black Museum, yep, in Conga. So this is the third one they've worked on. I guess this was the last one they all worked on together. So with this one, you have your character, Michael Conrad. He is the rich guy. He is part of a religious zoo cult where they all believe that uh, they all love animals, but they all believe that there's a animal soul that can be brought down from animal to animal pretty much. They're all rich and whatnot, but he owns his own zoo. He has his religious cult and everything. So pretty much uh, his zoo is his life. And also so is his wife and his silent uh, caretaker pretty much. He says he owns them all. He is the, the king of his jungle supposedly. So when everyone, anyone who uh, tries to stop him or gets in his way for a permanent reason or to change something. What he does is him and his silent partner there. We'll grab like a tiger, lion, or whatever, and bring it to the individual and let the animal maw them and kill them. <laughs> so pretty much you have yourself this guy who uses his animals as the killing machines. Uh, so that's that was pretty neat. They use all live animals for tigers. Uh, there's a lion, a couple jaguars, panther. The gorilla is definitely a dude in a suit. You can definitely see that with uh, the gorilla. But other than that, so pretty much you have this guy, Conrad. He is so forceful. He is so demanding. Whatever it is in, that's what his way is. If anybody again starts to stop him or, you know, change, he abuses his wife. He kind of attacks the his mute caretaker. There's a reason why he's mute. That actually gets involved later on to the movie, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, he kind of, he doesn't abuse his animals though. He cares for them so much. <laughs> when I was watching this movie though, the fucking cages are all open. So of course all the animals are getting rained on and everything. I'm like, really? Are you really taking care of your animals? <laughs> so I thought that was pretty funny. But again, he adores, they're his children, he calls them. So every time he goes into the house, he has his organ. He goes to let the children in. And you're thinking, kids, because you know, children. Nope. All the animals come sitting in on the couches and everything. So, of course, he is involved. But, of course, he is now murdering certain people that are coming against him. Like, one guy wants to buy the zoo and turn into, like, uh, I forgot what it was. He was, like, a construction guy and, nope, one was a reporter uh, and so on and so on. The body count is actually pretty good. There's about, I think, about six people die in this movie. Again, they use all live animals except for the gorilla. The gorilla was actually a dude in a suit. I guess he's been used in other movies before. Uh, there are no special features to this DVD at all. It's uh, just a plain just play the movie. Uh, the movie was actually originally in black and white, but this is actually put out in color. And the color looks pretty good. Um, I kind of wanted to wish they had a both, have a black and white and a color version, you know, just because... If you want to watch the original, kind of want to watch it in black and white. That's how it goes. But we get the colored version, and I thought they did a good job remastering it into the colored version. Uh, one of the great scenes in this movie is a funeral scene. Uh, I thought that was done fantastic. Okay, this is from the 60s, but um, one of his animals gets killed, and they actually have a funeral for it. And of course, they're out in the middle of like the of a forest area. The fog works great. The scenery is awesome, and all the animals are there watching and you know doing a funeral procession, pretty much, in this movie. I thought that was freaking cool as hell. 
and very eerie. Actually, that picture is the part of the funeral right there. So anyway, I definitely recommend this. If you like your uh, killer animal movies, um, this is not like, you know, all killer animals. The one dude is the main antagonist, but he uses them as weapons, which I thought was pretty badass. So yeah, I got the ratings on this. I guess people are saying, you know, it does have some overreacting <laughs> characters in this. Unfortunately, like Michael Koff there, he does overreact in a couple scenes that didn't really need to, but everyone else I thought did great. Even Michael, he did an awesome job too. But anyway, this movie was fantastic. I had a great time watching this. Um, I definitely recommend checking out The Black Zoo from 1963, guys, from the Warner Archive Collection. Hopefully they'll put this out on Blu-ray. It would be nice. Get a better transfer. Maybe get some special features to it. Some, uh, maybe a a black and white and a colored version together. We'll see. Anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the Black Zoo if, review. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Have yourself a good one. Peace.